The new True Sons leader, General Anderson, has finally come out of hiding to finalize negotiations with Natalia Sokolova. After realizing the True Sons have no chance against both the Division and the Black Tusk, he is organizing an alliance with the BTSU leader. Our job is to stop that from happening. General Peter Anderson believed with every bone in his body that he was an exceptional being and an extraordinary man. Yet in reality, this was just not the case. But oftentimes, the way in which a person of his egotistic mindset views themselves with such high regard can have a monumental impact on those around them. He sought immense value in establishing and maintaining closeness with those in positions of authority and control. Anderson was consumed with the idea of procuring high status for himself and it's what drove him over almost anything else, and what fundamentally controlled a lot of his actions. He proved himself countless times to others that he was more than just a simple paper pusher, and served his country in the army, the army reserves, and the national guard. In school, he surrounded himself with charming, popular individuals in order to study how they were able to acquire that social currency, after being mercilessly teased as a child for having a fixation on order and proficiency. Realizing that charismatic individuals are really interested in the process, he saw an opportunity to position himself as the man who knew where everybody was interred and how the system functioned, allowing the leaders to project charisma while he maintained the true power behind the scenes. Anderson can now use his years of research into the narcissistic mentality to his advantage, now that Ridgeway is no longer with them and the True Sons are seeking guidance. Anderson will take the True Sons nationwide whereas Ridgway's vision was always limited and small. He'll establish a network across the nation, portray Ridgway as a martyr, and demonize the division using his death. I'm pleased we could come to some sort of arrangement, Ms. Sokolova. Please, call me Natalia. Oh, very well, Natalia. Cal speaks very highly of you, General. Uh, Peter, please. Very well. Peter. I'm sorry about all of that confusion at Bonnie's test. Oh no. I'm the one who should apologize. I had no idea our goals were so aligned. The trouble with Black Ops. You never know if you're secretly shooting at your backup. <laughs> That's true. I hope we can be more candid now. That's the other trouble with Black Ops. Candid is kind of outside the job description. I understand. Do you? Not really, but I will. I like a man who can admit when he's wrong. Well, you should be careful. You might fall in love with me then. You shouldn't try to be funny. It doesn't suit you. You don't want any stationary bases. I find my teams are more effective as a mobile unit. We would maintain the ground force and infrastructure, and you would run the trade routes and supply lines. Exactly. Think of your true sons like the skeleton, and we are the blood. We are critical to maintaining structural support. True sons will handle territory control, and Black Tusk, mobile support. We enhance one another's strengths to protect from external forces who would prey on our weaknesses. You're smarter than I thought. Well, thank you, Natalia. Peter, it's nothing. Anderson and Natalia discuss the finer details behind their alliance in one of the more awkward interactions I've heard in a while. It's clear that Anderson is out of his depth and that his position in this alliance is going to be placed heavily under Natalia's thumb. The True Sons will be placed on guard duty while Natalia's Black Tusk run operations. How is Captain Lewis finding his new accommodations? Fred is finding his quarters a bit cramped and inhospitable, but livable. And the rest of his friends? Some have retired. Most are enjoying similar accommodations. And a few have refused our invitation. How many is a few? So far, only one can be confirmed. Wally? Uh, yes, Natalia. Wally was on a supply run and has eluded our patrols. It's a shame she was one of our best engineers. No matter. 
I'm sure she will be easily replaceable. I look forward to getting the full tour as soon as you've cleared up your rat problem. So the soldiers that Captain Lewis had been preparing for the transfer over to the division have been rounded up and either locked away or executed. Rescuing Lewis may provide the opportunity to pull the remaining true sons still loyal to him out, if it's not too late. After the division had finished dealing with Natalia's Black Tusk operatives, who were sent in to assess the True Sons, agents would discover General Anderson's location at the Pentco Fairview Power Plant, where he had a meeting planned with Natalia Sokolova. When the agents arrived on site, Anderson was assigned a security detail by Natalia, who would be responsible for getting him safely to the docks, but also stopping the agents from rescuing Lewis. Running through various challenges, including EMP jammers that were set up in the laboratory, and rising steam pressure in the cooling tower, agents would make their way to the reactor. There, Lewis has been locked away in the office, while BTSU operatives activated a failsafe, setting the building on fire after deactivating the fire suppression system. Division agents were successful in turning on the valves and reactivating the sprinklers, rescuing Lewis in the process. But with little warning, Lewis took off in pursuit of Anderson. However, Anderson had already made it to the docks, where Natalia had arrived with hovercrafts. The agents would meet up with Lewis in the parking lot, where a helicopter was waiting to extract them. Agent Kelso to Captain Lewis. Go for Lewis. Need confirmation. Is Anderson in your custody? Negative. The Black Husk have the general. I'll send a team to intercept. No, negative. It's not worth the risk. There's a fleet of Black Tusk hovercraft. This fog is the only reason why your extraction team is still breathing. How well do you know Natalia Sokolova? Not that well. I don't think anyone does. We've only met once. She was not what I expected. Thank you and your boys for the assist. I look forward to working with you now that we're partners. She looks like the president of the PTA, but you can tell she's dangerous. Now there is the slight hiccup that the division took the plant. Uh, but I'm not concerned. They've most likely moved on to their next assignment. Nothing she does is random. She raises her eyebrow at dinner in Monaco when you're hearing about an assassination in Tahiti. You should never underestimate that woman. We'll regroup and take back what is rightfully ours. And my true sons are at your disposal and ready to follow your orders. Excellent. Let's get to work. So we didn't manage to catch up with General Anderson and put a stop to his true sons merging with the Black Tusk. But we managed to rescue Lewis and potentially the remaining true sons loyal to him too. Hard to say whether we've taken back the Fairview power plant, as there seemed to be a huge number of them still piling out when we were extracted. But I like to think that they are now at least aware of how insecure it is versus the SHD. I mean, I guess we've had a lot of practice with the countdown game mode. Otherwise, I thoroughly enjoyed that final mission. I generally don't like timed missions, but I loved how challenging this was. I actually have to go back and play it on Heroic. I couldn't manage to complete it on time on my own and needed to get the footage for this video. So sadly, I had to do it on challenging. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and Extremis Malus, Extrema Remedia.